Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some Mario Kart Wii. I don't, I don't know. I was trying to go. Hey, hey, hey. You fat up, I don't know. Okay, we're going to stop there. Uh, 150 CC. Last time we left off, we got the motherfucking quacker. So we're going to use that baby today. Yes. 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 All hail say I mean, quacker. I totally meant to say quacker there. Anyway. Um, last time we defeated the Star Cup in a rank B way. I don't know, I, I forgot what made this rank B, but anyway, we rule. We rule, and we're gonna quack this, we're gonna quack this special cup up. We're gonna quack it, we're gonna quack it. We're gonna, we're gonna do awesome at it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna love it. We're gonna love every aspect of it. Because Rainbow Road and Bowser's Castle, right? Yeah. Y yeah. God, this is cringy. Anyway, we're, we're already kind of into this. I, I really didn't give us an intro. Um, anyway, support for the series has been really great. I'm loving, I'm loving it. Um, McDonald's. Make no sense. Anyway, God, I need to, like, think before I... Th th these should be scripted at this point. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, God. Anyway, um... So, I, I miss, I miss that. I miss Dom. I need, I need his guidance, but he's on vacation, so I can't, I can't, I need him. I need him back as soon as possible. Anyway, uh, yeah, special cup. It's, it is special. It's not my favorite special cup out of Mario Kart, because I don't really care for di dry, dry ruins. Moonview Highway is just, Moonview Highway, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. That, that, that track's actually really divided amongst the community. It's either universally loved or universally hated. To me, it's just, eh, because I really, really love the music, but I really, really don't like the track design. <laughs> I feel like I'm on cocaine when I'm playing that track, even though that's most Mario Kart tracks. It's just this this form of cocaine just really, really wants me to see some form of alien creature. It, it wants me to revisit Stephen King when he wrote it, that, that form of cocaine. It's... Not the greatest cocaine in the world, but it's there if you need it. I'm just gonna stop there. God, I feel like the amount of times I have to say it, I'm just gonna stop there. Just explains how much downhill this episode's gone already. Oh God, Toad's on some form of cocaine now, let's be honest, let's be real with that. Toad is, Toad is high 24 seven. Whether it's on sugar, LSD, any anything that requires drugs, he is on. Anything that can get you high, he is on. I don't know why, but oh come on, make it! Yeah, see, dodged it. Yeah, oh fuck. This thing is fast, though. So, oh come on, me! God damn it! You sons of bitches. You you just like to ruin people's lives, don't you? Why is... Was Toad just doing like a... Whoa, what is he doing? Dude, Toad's doing like a hip thrust. Dude. That's his dominating move. That's how he visits Toadette. When he goes to her apartment. Hey, baby! Hey! <laughs> it's too early in the morning for me to do my Toad voice. It sounds awful. Launch the nukes! Okay. We're gonna launch the nukes now. I don't know why I said that. Something, 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 Aaron Hansen. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Bomb. What the fuck? Did you just see Mari just leave the screen? Dude just left the chat. Dude just left the Discord call. Oh, God. Oh, okay, and someone just blew up. God, see what I mean? This track is just like, you don't know what you're gonna get with this. It's like a box of chocolates. I need to s cool it with the references. I need, I need to, I need to get put on a leash with these references. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude came out of nowhere. Fucker came out of nowhere. I just said to chill with the references. Am I, am I, do I have DID? Does someone keep ch taking control of me and like trying to make me come up with these terrible references even though like there's like a one percent chance they're actually good 
Like, I didn't, I did not want, I don't think anyone, anybody wanted me to reference the 40-year-old virgin while playing Mario Kart Wii. It, it just doesn't mix. It doesn't. It really doesn't. It's like saying it's Britney, bitch, but playing a Lady Gaga song. Not, not the best thing in the world, but you said it, and you regret it. Oh god, that's a truck. That was a terrible analogy. Oh, Jesus. That, that lady seems in better days. And she hasn't seen any dick in a while. Oh, Christ. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Sons of bitches. Oh, step on your right foot. Don't forget it. Okay. Calm down. Calm. Collective. Calm, collective. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are smart. You are special. Oh my god. God, this thing has like insane acceleration. It's kind of insane how much acceleration this bitch has got. Let's go. Actually, I shouldn't say that. That was bad. Anyway, we did it! We quacked that level up, baby. Yeah. Y yeah. Like the video. <laughs> oh man. Bowser's Castle, baby. Probably the probably this one probably my least favorite because it just feels too double dash for my taste. It just feels like I feel like I'm playing double dash most of the time. I mean, there's a couple aspects I like. I like this room with, like, the demonic presence in here. But this is Bowser Castle. This isn't the Exorcist, okay? I, I don't need any demonic possessed room to tell me when I need to trick and when I don't need to trick. And I don't need... I mean, this is pretty cool. A giant flame. I mean, I feel like every Bowser's Castle level has a giant... Holy shit. Has a giant flaming... Bowser mechanical robot in the background. Oh my god. Dude. But this this level does have a crazy shortcut, though. It's just, I'm not good at this game, so I can't do it. Oh, fuck. Not the fireballs. God damn it! So... Showtime. I don't care for your Broadway show, you punk bitch. Oh my god, I just got... An enema. <laughs> Ugh. Toad wishes he could. Okay. Oh boy! Oh boy. Oh my god. I feel like this, this game can be summed up in just... 16 words minimum like you can't just if someone says hey describe mario kart we in one sentence or not one sentence one word rather you you would say it in one sentence you can't explain this game in one word i mean chaos i guess but still that's not enough to explain the amount of chaos that this film i mean this this, this film this game gives off oh man Speaking of chaos, I'm going to see Ghostbusters Frozen Empire today. Not sure if I'm excited as much as I want to be, because I loved Ghostbusters Afterlife, and I'm I loved the trailers for this movie, and it just seems like people aren't really caring for it. I mean, critics aren't really care. It's a, it's looking like another Mario movie situation where the fans are pleased. But the critics are mad that this doesn't have a complicated storyline and isn't put together well. Again, like the Mario movie, it's Ghostbusters. It shouldn't be taken seriously. It's, it should be a fun time where it, it's just a nice popcorn movie, you know? You shouldn't be looking at the deeper meaning of Ghostbusters. It's Ghostbusters. The fact that this movie is like 50% lower on Rotten Tomatoes than Ghostbusters 2016 is 
insanely insane. There's no way this movie is worse than Ghostbusters 2016. Same with Afterlife. Afterlife is like 15% lower than Ghostbusters 2016. It, Ghostbusters 2016 was not funny. Guys, you need to chill out. I mean, there were some funny things in that movie, but it was just eh. Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters Afterlife was not eh. It was amazing. Ghostbusters 2016 was not eh. It, let, let's be honest here, guys. Ghostbusters Afterlife was awesome. I don't understand how it has 64% on Rotten Tomatoes. The fact that Thor Love and Thunder has a higher Rotten Tomatoes score than Ghostbusters Afterlife is just... Just tells you how far gone Ghost... I mean, Rotten Tomatoes is. It should not be trustworthy. The fact that it's like the one... The first thing that people go to when they want to see reviews for a movie is just super sad because... There are so many good movies out there that have, like, bullshit Rotten Tomato scores. Like, The Whale. Oh, god damn it. The Whale has, like, the same score as, like, Ghostbusters. I think it's in the 60s. Like, it's not fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. But it won Oscars for a reason. Like, when it's, like, so painfully obvious that a movie is groundbreaking and incredible, but Rotten Tomatoes just refuses to like it, it's just insane. God. Whoa, I just went down gay lane. I would know what that lane is like, honestly. <laughs> if the one person watching this video knows what gay lane is, it'd be me. And I'm not really watching it, I'm doing it, but... Anyway, you get the premise, you get what I was putting down there. The joke was, I'm a homosexual. That's, that's the joke. <laughs> Rainbow Road, though, let's be honest, there isn't one- I mean, Mario Kart 8's Rainbow Road was pretty bleh, but... It's because that game was just giving it such a high expectation for the audience. Like, the anti-gravity thing is like, oh my god, everyone seeing the first trailer for Mario Kart 8 was like, being like, oh, Rainbow Road is going to be insane. We already had high expectations, so it was already gonna go downhill from there. But other than that, every Rainbow Road has kicked ass in some way. SNES Rainbow Road, yeah, it, it kind of lost its magic after a while, but it's still the original Rainbow Road. I mean, you have to set some sort of precedent there. But other than that, yeah, dude, there isn't one bad Rainbow Road track. They're at least all tolerable at minimum. Oh, dude, you see that shit? I saved it. I totally meant to do that. Just let me have this moment, game. Let me have at least one moment where you don't have to... Please, God. Give me this one thing. Who the hell's close? I screwed that up again. That was weird. Okay. Boo. Game, like, froze for a second. Oh. Wee. Bullet Bill. Yes. Am I the only one that, like, oh, BAM! Shock dodge! Yes! Got a BAM shock dodge. Let's go. The first one of the series. Jump. Okay, okay, okay. Stop it. Oh my god! Not a smooth shortcut, but I did it nonetheless. No, don't make. God damn it. This game has, like, way too many items that cause us to spin out all at once. The power block. The lightning bolt. Okay, maybe just those two. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. So many bullshit items that just have, like, no balance at all. Like, the blue shell. Are you serious? The timing on that! The timing on that! The actual timing on that! That was glorious. I will say, that was insanely glorious. That was beautiful. Put that on the front page of Reddit, please. I was just complaining about the blue shell. A s a, not even a second later. It comes out of nowhere. B? Bullshit! Are you serious? I got 57! I don't care! Do I look like I care? 
I mean, honestly, Daisy. Not, not the best. She, her voice is annoying as hell, but. Uh, I don't. Uh, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, what did I say in the last episode? Peck that subscribe button with your peck. <laughs> I meant, I meant beak. I, I didn't mean for it to come out that way. Oh god, I'm really tired. I just want to send these to Marcus and go to bed. At 9 o'clock in the morning. It's 9.23 currently. In the morning. I, I woke up an hour ago. Oh my god. I subscribe to end my pain and suffering that Marcus gives me. Hashtag free me. Put hashtag free me everywhere. Hashtag free me from Marcus. I'm gonna start a Hallmark movie over it. It's gonna be great. Or not a Hallmark movie, a Showtime movie, and it's gonna somehow correlate to wokeness. I don't know, some form of wokeness, I don't know. You know, those Showtime movies that just... It's like every single Showtime movie is a woman getting some form of abuse from wife or husband. Like, all Showtime movies are just... Either kids are being taken away from them, or... They're getting sexually harassed in the workplace in some way, or... It's just so repetitive. Like, how dare them? How dare they? Right? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus.